Welcome everybody to this week's uh, video. This week we are talking about capitalization rules and this uh, video or these rules are coming from uh, grammarbook.com and you can kind of see the link over on uh, on this side and uh, and so forth. So let's uh, let's get that ball going. All right, so with um, with capitalization rules, typically the first word of a uh, sentence is capitalized. So the, we capitalize the first word of a document and the first word after the period. All right, so for example, um, it should be, I love to travel. I is capitalized because it is the first word of the sentence. Okay. Uh, the book is green, even though the book is not necessarily a proper noun, but T is capitalized because it is the first word of the sentence. You can also see books, Ooh, my bad, books are green, okay? So here you can see that the B is capitalized because also it is the first word of the sentence. Rule number two tells us that we uh, capitalize, so the rule number two tells us that we capitalize proper nouns and adjectives derived from proper nouns, all right? So let's take a kind of a look at this one. So a proper noun, for example, is a name of a place, a person, or a thing that is unique to that place, person, or thing. So for example, my name is Rita, so my, or Rita Sekali, that's my proper noun. So the R in Rita is capitalized, the S in Sekali is capitalized as well. So let's take a look at these, um, at these proper names and what it means to have it derived, to have an adjective derived from that proper noun. For example, when we say the Golden Gate Bridge, obviously this is not a complete sentence or else we would have capitalized the. But the Golden Gate Bridge is the bridge in San Francisco. So the Golden Gate Bridge is all, all three letters are capitalized because it is part of the name, all right? So any proper name. Um, golden is an adjective. However, in this case, it is used as part of the proper noun. So this is an adjective that's derived from the proper noun or rather comes from the proper noun. By the way, you guys, if you're on with me live and you have questions, please feel free to ask at any point uh, during this, uh, during the video, all right? <coughs> so the next example, we have the Grand Canyon. Grand, again, is an adjective. Um, and the Grand Canyon together, this is the proper noun of this place um, available in Arizona. It's a national park, right? If I were to put this in a sentence and I would just say, okay, the Golden Gate Bridge is big, you see here that I had to capitalize the T in the as well because of our first rule. So the first word has to be capitalized, right? So if we're talking again about the Grand Canyon, I'm going to visit the Grand Canyon soon. We see that the, in this case, is not capitalized because it's not part of um, it's not the first letter of the sentence and it's not part of the proper noun. So I in this case is capitalized. Here um, in this example we have a Russian song. Now song is not part of the name. It's not part of the proper noun, right? But Russia, since Russia is a proper noun, even though Russian is used almost as an adjective, the R in Russian is capitalized because it gives us, uh, it, because Russia is a proper noun and it's a place, okay? A Shakespearean sonnet, Shakespeare, right? We all know who Shakespeare is. He wrote Romeo and Juliet, he wrote Othello, he wrote um, all these great plays that have been translated to all kinds of languages. 
which I think most of you guys at least have heard of him. Um, he's uh, an English playwright, so someone who writes plays. In a Shakespearean sonnet, we see that the S is, again, capitalized. Uh, so here, like we said, if it's a proper noun, then it is capitalized. If it's a name of a place, a person, or a thing that is unique to that place, person, or thing, then it is capitalized along with the adjectives that come with it, okay? All right. Things we, this is a, a nice list that they give us of things we actually do capitalize. So if it's a brand name, like, um, can someone give me a brand name? Gucci, right? Gucci is, we, we capitalize Gucci, Nike, we capitalize the N in Nike, right? Um, what else? I can't think of it. Louis, that's how you spell Louis. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but I think that's how you spell it. Is that how you spell it? No, there it is. Okay, V U I. All right, so you see the L and the V are both um, are both capitalized. So if we have companies, companies like uh, Macy's, for example, Macy's. Uh, Macy's is capitalized. Stater Brothers is capitalized, right? J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney. Um, uh, Whole Foods, right? Or Sprouts. All of these are capitalized because they're names of companies. Days of weeks and month of years. So if I'm saying today is what? Today is Thursday. Thursday is capitalized and February, huh? You're right, yeah. So, Feb, ooh. There. There you go. Uh, February is capitalized as well. January, September, August, all these names, right? August. All these names are capitalized. If it's a day or a month, it's capitalized, okay? Government matters like Congress, for example, the U.S. Constitution, um, Electoral College, all these things that have to do with gov government names or departments, um, then they are capitalized. Historical episodes, or by episodes we don't mean the things we watch, but rather the time periods, right? The American Revolutionary War, right? American Revolutionary War is a time frame. World War One or World War Two. That's a time period or a historical episode that happened, right? The Great Depression, we see that it is um, capitalized. Holidays are capitalized, like Christmas, for example, is capitalized. Um, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's uh, Day or Independence Day or Veterans Day. These are all capitalized. Any questions, you guys? Any examples that you want to give? New Year's. New Year's is also capitalized. That is correct. Um, institutions. Institutions like Oxford College, like Chafee College, uh, Juilliard School of Music. You can kind of see that all these names uh, of these institutions are uh, capitalized or the first letter not the entire name obviously uh, man-made structure so any structure that is specific um, that people have built uh, so that's what man-made means like someone built it or someone made it so any of these um, especially famous ones like the Empire State Building we see that the E is capitalized the S is capitalized the B is capitalized the Eiffel Tower E is capitalized T is capitalized the Titanic, right? So, and notice that the is not capitalized because it's not part of the name, uh, even though we always say the Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, the Titanic. Um, we only capitalize the first letter of these uh, structures, right? Or uh, again, also territories like California, like Berlin, like Cook County, like San Bernardino County. These are 
territories that people kind of like put around uh, on the map, right? Say, okay, this is the this is the um, part of San Bernardino, right? The, these are the measurements, or these are the um, why can't I think of the words? I cannot think of the word. But basically, the the map, the lines, um, the county lines. There we go. So like San Bernardino, like Berlin, Montana, Cook County, all of these are capitalized. Landmarks like Mount Everest, like the Hoover Dam, right? Um, I, the Alps, I can't remember anything. I, I can't think of any landmarks right now. But anyone has any landmarks that they can think of? Maybe you guys can help me. Um, uh, Square Times? New York? Is that what it's called? Times Square. Times Square. There we go. I'm like, it's not making sense. Uh, you know, like when you've been to places and you can kind of see it in your head, but you can't think of the name? That's what's happened. Like, you know, there's a square. Okay, yeah, so it's Times Square. These are the T's uh, capitalized again, and the S is capitalized. Anyone? Uh, sorry, you guys were giving examples. Go for it. Yeah, like Louvre. Louvre in Paris is is a landmark. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a structure, right? So it is capitalized, but it's a structure. It's not a landmark. Although technically it is a landmark, but it's the structure itself is. I guess the place would be a landmark, and the structure would be the. Act. Okay, anyways, either way, it's capitalized, so that's good. Okay, nicknames. Nicknames are capitalized. Babe Ruth, uh, old, history, uh, old Hickory Jackson, uh, the Sultan of Swat, right? Any nickname that we give someone, okay? The ruler of the seas, right? Ruler would be capitalized. The R would be capitalized. Seas would be capitalized. The S in seas would be capitalized. We do not capitalize by the way we do not capitalize any um, um, prepositions so for example you have here the Sultan of Swat well of is not capitalized the O is not capitalized because it is a preposition and we don't capitalize it okay organizations again like American Center for Law and Justice Norwegian Ministry of Environment um, any you know the um, uh, in-house services right any organization that you can think of st. Jude uh, cancer hospital right organizations planets obviously because they are proper names right Mercury Venus March uh, Mars Mars uh, Mars Jupiter Saturn all of these are capitalized races and nationalities right Eskimo Navajo East Indian uh, these are tribes, by the way, these are Native American tribes, Caucasian, African American, um, Lebanese, for example, American, um, I don't know, Egyptian, right? Yes. Uh, so any of those would be capitalized, right? Colombian, Mexican, all of these are nationalities and they uh, need to be capitalized okay names of religion and deities like for example um, uh, Catholic or Christian or Muslim so the C's are capitalized the M is capitalized God when we talk about God as specific God like the um, the one God we capitalize the G right or we capitalize even when we're talking about God um, in general, like we're referring to him as him, right? Um, then we capitalize the H, right? Um, any other names of gods that any other religions might follow, uh, then you'd capitalize those deities as well. Um, one thing that we don't capitalize is the devil or satanic or hell. So, okay. Uh, special occasions are capitalized, like the Olympics, like the Winter Olympics that we are watching right now. Um, so that's cool. What is it? Yeah, the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl Sunday is this uh, this upcoming Sunday. So that is 
um, capitalized. Super Bowl and Sunday. Uh, the S in Sunday is also capitalized. And streets and roads, like where you know you live on, or Chafee is on Haven Avenue, right? There's an H that is capitalized. Avenue is also capitalized. Okay. Um, okay. So general things that we don't capitalize are animals, right? Anything that is not a proper noun, right? So animals, names of elements, these are all food, these are all things that are common nouns, they're not specific or unique to a specific place. Um, uh, heavenly bodies like the moon and the sun are not capitalized because that's not their proper name, right? Medical conditions, um, plant, plants, vegetables, fruits, these are all common nouns and uh, seasons and seasonal <coughs> data, these are all again common uh, common uh, so all this is saying is that it, you capitalize the title when they are used before the name unless the title is followed by a comma and do not the, capitalize the title if it's used after a name or instead of a name okay so I was thinking it was talking about like the titles on a paper so if you're doing a title on a paper then all the letters are capitalized all right if you are talking about a person's title my apologies if you are talking about a person's title then you capitalize it only if it comes before the name and not after so chairman of the board William Bly or whatever his name is so you see chairman board William if all of them are capitalized whereas in this case the chairman of the board comma William Bly will preside none of it is capitalized the T is capitalized only because it's the first word of the sentence but because it's separated by a comma then it is not part of it's almost not part of the name okay the senators from Iowa and Ohio are expected to attend Iowa and Ohio are states so they need to be capitalized okay so here also expected to attend are senators Buzz James and Eddie Twain so senator is capitalized because it came right before the noun or right before the proper name and it's part of it and it's not separated by a comma. All right, I think that is, um, okay, yeah. That is all that for, uh, for this video. Let me go back to here, okay. So for this video, that is all that you need to know about capitalization. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can leave them in the comment box below or you can uh, message me and I will be happy to answer any of your questions.